So Ruby, do you believe in voodoo at all? Uh, depends on the person. Depends on the person? <laughs> oh, that's interesting. You've got someone in mind. I hope voodoo is true. All right. Uh, we're going to try a little demonstration that might convince you either way. Oh, okay. wow. Okay. So basically what's going on here is um, I've got some of my business cards. And rather than use a human victim, which seems a little bit harsh, just yeah. for a magic trick, um, <laughs> I've used all of my artistic know-how to produce this perfect replica of a human <laughs> being. Okay. Um, and he's going to be our sort of surrogate victim, so we'll leave him down here where I can't interfere. And um, yeah, and then we obviously need a voodoo doll. Now I don't carry one of those around because you get some pretty weird looks. I've got so one. So you've got no, one. I'm no, I was going to say what, just on you. <laughs> that is worrying. Um, no less worrying really is the photos that I have of the voodoo doll. These are just—they don't get me so many weird looks, but. Um, there's, they're portable, so it's good. Uh, and you can see on each picture is a different sort of, uh, the penis in a different place. So it's the stomach and the, the arm and the chest. Some of them are quite serious and some of them are more kind of glancing blows, but you get the idea that yeah. they're all kind of different. Um, so we're gonna leave those there. And now we come to the fun part. You need to think of someone who you wouldn't mind directing a little bit of bad mojo towards. Okay, just their oh, first there's note. Of those. There's loads. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you're like, it's not difficult thinking of someone. It's choosing who deserves yeah. it the most. <laughs> All right. All right. Well, I want you to think of that person's first name. Yeah. And then just write it on that little scrap of paper there. I've got a pen, so you can write it down. I can see it. It's not that sort of trick. So you can just write it out. This just means that I make sure I get the spelling right as well. My handwriting is really bad. Oh, perfect. Cameron, that's yeah. perfect. That might be a name I'd have chosen as well. Mm. All right, so <laughs> perfect. So what we're going to do to find out which injury uh, we, we might inflict with voodoo on Cameron, we spell <laughs> the name. So we go C-A-M-E-R-O, and then the N takes us there, right? Yeah. So uh, obviously uh, Cameron could have got something quite serious or a glancing blow. Let's see what happened to Cameron. Oh, he got Aww. away. He got away with the thing. Oh, you sound really disappointed. Yeah. Damn. He escaped serious injury. Okay. So Cameron got a wound on the arm. So now here comes the voodoo bit. You can't have a voodoo ritual without a bit of fire. Oh, so would you mind screwing that into a ball for me? Perfect. If I can take it from you, this is the cool part. Check this out. <laughs> now that means that the voodoo should have worked. Because if you remember, we had a little human surrogate victim. If you turn it over, Bit drum roll, let's see what happened to our camera. Oh there you God. go, an injury in the exact same place in the arm. So do you believe in voodoo now? I need to make a phone call. You know? <laughs> <laughs> we need to do this again for real. <laughs>